uh, historic folk dance mornings where it's all very simple and she leads you through everything. 1651, uh, John Playford wrote a collection of uh, English folk dance and music which went through many editions and that's what Jill's main source is. It's somewhere you can come by yourself. You don't have to have anybody with you. You learn new things, which keeps your brain active as well, as I say, as well as doing the exercise. And it's just a really fun thing to do. Because this is a yes. flirtatious I know, but that's what she wants to be Making eye contact at all times. Of course. <laughs> Jill, our leader, walks us through. She explains it. She's incredibly patient with us all. We walk it through, the musicians play it, we break it into parts, so it's very simple for us to do. I come with a friend, well she's a neighbour and we become friends because I give her a lift, she doesn't drive, and we've all got to know each other and a lot of us are widows, so we need to come and have some interaction with people. I really enjoy it actually. I love playing the old English tunes. It's always very jolly. Everyone always has a smile on their face. Socialisation and it's a gentle exercise without stress and it's fun. You, you become confident doing the dances, you know, it, it stays in your head and that's very good. Fun and company and exercise. <laughs>